Our pronouns are told you so. The Daily Mojo. It's Monday. It's a great day to slay. <laughs> it, I love that. I like that. <laughs> For those of you unfamiliar with Raven Harrison, she is the best, and she is a true patriot. She is out there. Uh, she she walks the walk and talks the talk. She's out there t- uh, trying to make changes uh, and and getting everybody fired up about the election. And I wanted to and thanks for taking time again this morning. I I I will hear you on like BAP or something. I'll go. I haven't talked to Raven in a while, and it always reminds me. And you know, my my apologies for not reaching out sooner, as always, but. What's your take on the uh, the RFK uh, Trump alliance uh, that we uh, uh, saw the the love the lovebirds on Friday? Are you uh, how are you looking at this thing? Well, uh, I haven't been a tremendous fan of RFK, but I am a huge fan of what took place on Friday. I feel like that was exactly what needed to happen. This is what we've been talking about. This is what the left says that they want, unity. They wanted someone to bring us together. Mm-hmm. That's something that Biden ran on, that I'm going to be the one who brings us together. And now that they have come together, Trump and the Kennedy dynasty have come together, the left is, of course, losing their mind. Uh, we didn't mean that. Not that way. Um, We believe in democracy as long as you do what we say. So that's what's happening. But I think it's a really good, it was an excellent choice by RFK of how you're going to most use the power that you had. He would have liked to have been president, but as he's not, what is the best way then to achieve something? And I think he was right. It's also worth noting that they've been glossing over in the media, Brad, that he reached out to Kamala and the Democrats first because he was a Democrat or is a Democrat, Mm -hmm. however you want to look at it. And they refused Mm -hmm. to meet with him. They refused to talk with him. They refused to entertain him in any way. And then they also refused to give him secret service protection that he asked for on multiple occasions. He got it because of Trump, you know, vying for Mm -hmm. him. And what I'm saying to you is that should be what people are missing. Why are the Democrats mad? You didn't want to talk to him. You weren't interested. You didn't want to hear what he had to say. You didn't think he was valuable. And now he's aligned with Trump, who did want to hear what he had to say, who did want to make him part of the conversation. And now they're imploding. So that's what you'll see. But this is the unity we talked about. We don't have to agree on absolutely everything, but let's come together and put out the immediate communist fire first. Isn't that what we... Yes. I mean that's common sense it seems to me we're not no yeah. one is going to agree on everything and that 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 held a lot of weight now i know he's a big he's a lefty he always has been but it seems that the right attitude is there right Well, I absolutely agree. And this is what we used to be. It didn't used to be an all or nothing. And that's why when people get on Trump supporters, oh, you you know, you guys are a cult and you blindly follow. Isn't that what you guys do? You know, let's not, you know, the facts, let's don't matter. She's a woman, identity politics, all this kind of other stuff. But that's exactly the essence of it is we're supposed to be able to disagree. You don't learn anything from people you are exactly like. You have to open up the discussion, but you got to be willing to talk at the end of the day. If you want your seat at the table, you know, you got to be willing to participate. And that's what I'm seeing. I've been reading a lot of the comments from people who were RFK fans who said, you know, I am no Trump fan, but I support what he's trying to do to, you know, get the message through. And that's what they are missing. And besides Trump, it's worth noting, Brad, besides Trump, who has been, what dynasty has been more prosecuted than Trump? The Kennedys. Okay, RFK Uh was treated exactly like Trump has been treated, including, you know, what happened to his uncle. Okay, this is what we're looking at is they have tried to silence him. They tried to stop him. He was not the chosen one, even with a dynasty and a legacy like Kennedy, because my mom was a huge Kennedy fan. It it affected her profoundly when he was assassinated. And that's why she went into the military. I mean, she's been a staunch conservative, but. JFK was a different kind of Democrat. He came in wealthy. Yeah, he, was. he didn't really need to take anything from America. And again, different vision. And this party has gone so far left. So I don't feel like he's left the party. He's still probably a Democrat at heart. But again, can we, what did Reagan say about being 80% on board, you know, vice the 20? Uh, that's, isn't that good enough right now when we're facing real problems in this country? 
And that's just it. We are, um, to say we're facing real problems is an understatement. I mean, it is ju- it's insane the levels that we have dropped to uh, in, in America. But I'm just looking at the, uh, the Democrat convention last week and the fact that Black Lives Matter actually came out and criticized. I don't know if you saw that piece. I'll send it to you. But they came out yes. and they criticized the Democrats for the way they that, that Kamala Harris was chosen. I mean, it's just, it's crazy that, you know, in a month's time, yes. she went from being a, a moron to being God's gift to humanity on the Democrat side. It's, it's, it's truly mind boggling that they reach out and accuse us of being mind numbed robots when they themselves in the course of 30 days did this 180 degree flip and decided, you know, to save democracy, we've got to sidestep it. Destroy it's, it. We, such, such bizarre times. It's well, it's Brad. It's like they didn't, these are walking hypocrisies and that's what happened. I mean, you're being very soft about it. Let's call it what it really is. They, the Democrats, Pelosi, Obama executed a coup against a sitting president mm-hmm. um, who had been, nominated by his party he was he should have been there to accept the election because the, you know we're not going to talk about his fitness they all spent three and a half years telling us we were crazy there's nothing wrong with joe biden he's mentally fit so which is it either he was okay or he wasn't but that was a coup against a sitting president that was treason i have no love lost for joe biden but that's a coup against a sitting president is about as un-american as it gets and she was installed OK, no one voted for her. Mm-hmm. Nobody voted for her. The, they they decided to do this. And the party, not just BLM and Antifa and the Palatine protester, everybody should be outraged that you had your voice stolen. But you so consumed with hate against President Trump and his followers that you're willing to excuse that your party just said, look, your vote doesn't matter. Your voice doesn't matter. We know better than you what you need. And this is who we want. We don't care who you want. This is who we want or this is who made the best blackmail, because I really do believe that they were gonna step over her. And then she kind of played the race card and said, hey, you step over me. But all they did was affirm that. Did you see that? They put a wall around the DNC after complaining that walls Uh don't work, they're too expensive, we can't have it, but they put a wall around the DNC. They had, you had to have ID. You had to have picture ID to get into the DNC, but they claim that's racist when you're trying to vote. And then the creme de la creme is they had a mobile butchery out front performing abortions. And people who would relegate a decision amazing. like that going out to a truck in front of the DNC and having your baby torn limb from limb and them getting on with glee and going that this is the greatest thing that I have that Trump didn't take that right. You have the right to be a soulless, moralist creep if you want to. Trump never took that mm-hmm. away, okay? And that was ev- yep. evidence of going up there again as the first, quote, female president. That's what you want your legacy to be, is ripping babies limb from limb. What is wrong with these people? And and with when Tim Walls got up there and started talking about the, what did he say, the personal hell that is infertility, Something along those lines, and I thought, well, there's a uh, there, I mean, that's in stark contrast to you know you're talking about infertility and how much that hurts. To by the way, if you do get pregnant, you can just go out front, jump in the van, and they'll uh, they'll suck it right out of you. I mean, it's just and and no well, one saw you know the just go have IVF and then go have an abortion. You know why? Right. You know even bother with it, and then while him yanking his special needs sons around on the stage. And the best is, Brad, did they not leak false information that Beyonce was going to perform and things like that to get people to tune in? Everything about Kamala is fake, except for the real policy Uh points that she ripped off from President Trump. That, yeah, that it is the people that can't see this. And again, I go back to the people that call us mind numbed robots that and they can't see what's happening on their own side of the fence. And it's. Mostly, I think, because they just have this bizarre hatred of Donald Trump. It's the, I mean, they, it it is, it's beyond irrational, their hatred for this guy, which again, he, Trump didn't mean anything to me prior to 2015. I didn't care one way or the other. He was an entertainer. You know, he was a, 
He did the funny, on Saturday Night Live, he did the old uh, Trump's chicken wings. If you saw that, we played that on Friday. But it was a funny gig, and they, you know, they loved him back then. And then suddenly, you know, they hate him. And to the point where over on American Greatness, uh, uh, they did, the the headline is, the left, uh, the left swift shift after RFK Jr.'s Trump endorsement. And it was um, David Axelrod who came out and said um, uh, that uh, let's see, but, uh, uh, RFK Sr. would have been appalled to see his son cut a deal to drop out of the race and endorse Trump. Imagine somebody drops out of a race at the last minute and, uh, and supports a rival candidate. And I'm thinking, wait, did you not? I mean, that's exactly what y'all did two weeks ago. It is the most bizarre situation in the world. They're they're criticizing RFK for doing exactly what they did. It's like we're in the well, upside are, down. It's called cognitive. It's called cognitive dissonance, and uh, that mm -hmm. is a position where somebody has a belief so deeply held that they will not let facts, what they see, what they're told get them off of that and that's where we're calling it tds trump derangement syndrome but that's essentially what it is when you become so consumed with hate and that you mm -hmm. will just you won't you'll ignore the fact that our borders wide open you'll ignore the fact that we've under been under crippling uh economy but the worst is the media of these these ridiculous fake polls of someone who was polling single digits she didn't become more popular she didn't get any policies none of that changed you just have the big tech and media lying for her like they did for hillary remember with the poll said she was 92 percent trump's eight yeah. percent and she got and so that's where they are they're trying to gaslight so people think that this race is as close as it is if you look at the actual attendance she just had one in north carolina 200 people Okay, and they're comparing that to Trump thousands. She's been caught paying people for, you know, fake support of her uh -huh. and pandering and turning on that fake black accent, you know, whenever she's around. And that's all they've got because, again, she is running to fix the problems that they created and that she's been mm -hmm. able to fix for three and a half years. And look at the media. I've been actually putting clips up, Brad, of in 20, you know, 20 this, uh, they're saying um, Kamala was just appointed the border czar, border czar, border czar, border czar. And now right. today she was never the border czar. And it right. was just, it's absolutely crazy, the gaslighting of people of going, why are you lying? Why do you need to lie? She's such a fabulous candidate. Why do you need to lie? And they've done everything. And Kennedy, I felt like I watched that speech. It was worthy of the legacy of a Kennedy. Um, this is, mm -hmm. remember, who shot your uncle? These are the same people who came down on you for breaking from the plantation. But yep. they look what they've done to the Kennedys. I mean, look what they did to his uncle, his father, and all these, I mean, it's unreal to me how people can be so brainwashed, they don't wanna talk about what it really is and blm all those people protesting just goes to show you that's what happens when you pander to both sides when you straddle the fence okay it is absolutely mm -hmm. ridiculous and so i counted for those who are take, keeping track 1000 times president trump was mentioned at the dnc more than wow abortion inflation wow. you know uh all of this other stuff, but yet you're hearing wow. these people, these young people say they can't make their rent, that it's things are too expensive, but yet they will vote for this. Why are you voting for Kamala? Well, she's a woman. So what? Okay. Uh, I just, and again, the people, the illegals that they're paying, let me ask you, Brad, and especially with Ron being a veteran, would you vote mm -hmm. for people who were taking care of you? So what I can't understand is why don't you just pay our veterans who are already here? Okay, why yeah. don't you give them free housing and thousands of dollars of money? Would they not vote Democrat if you did that? Why are you importing the third world to get votes? That should that should be it's... the eye opener to all Democrats of going, why are they giving this to illegals and not single mothers and black women and the black population? And now they want to talk about restorations as they're waving in millions of illegals and saying, here's free stuff courtesy of the taxpayer. And 
we can't figure out why we're in this mess. And we still have people that say we're the cult. I know it's crazy. Um, where have you been uh, traveling recently? I know you've been on the road a lot. Uh, uh, and and what are people saying out there on the street uh, when, when you talk to them? Are, are people um, are people hopeful about the the upcoming election? What's the general consensus out there that you've gathered? They are hopeful but scared, Brad. You know, so where we've been traveling, we've been in Arizona, Alabama, the Gulf Coast, North Carolina, uh, up in Georgia, just doing and a lot in Florida trying to get out because again, we have a lot of NGOs and people working against us. So what we've been trying to do is highlight the areas where we have information coming in. In Alabama, we just found 55,000 people on the voter rolls who are illegal or not supposed to be there. Michigan is passing a law against hand, hand counting ballots. So what we're trying to do is get on top of these things and get a mechanism and apparatus in place so that people have a way to go. What good is it to call in fraud if it's not going anywhere? But we have to make sure people right. are ready for them to board up the windows, kick out uh, the pollsters. It's also worth noting that uh, the majority of the polls, poll electors, so a lot of uh, Trump Republicans registered to be at the polls and have been denied in Michigan out of 700 Republican applicants, 50 were taken and they have 2,300 on. So just telling wow. you, there's this is the play that they're doing because they know, I tell people, remember what the play is. It's not that they believe these polls. They don't believe that that Kamala is pacing with President Trump. They know better than that. No. So what they're all they're trying to do is make an argument when they try to steal it that it was close. But they're having a, right. a real problem with it because the exit polls don't lie. The real statistics, and you notice I didn't say poll, I said statistics. The real statistics mm -hmm. don't lie. So she is not even close. These polls are not even close. She was in single digits before Joe Biden was removed by a coup. So they are trying to yeah. legitimize Again, and talking about democracy. So what do they go back to? Abortion. They can't talk about the border. They can't talk about the economy. They can't talk about foreign relations. They can't talk about the debt. Okay, so all they can talk about yep. is, you know, join us, have your rights taken away, have your free speech taken away. We'll keep letting illegals in and won't protect you, but then we'll take guns away from law-abiding Americans. Uh, to not The same guns that are protecting our dumb keisters, but we will take those away from you and everything will be great. OK, and that's you'll own nothing. You'll have nothing. You'll be nothing. Your children will have nothing and you'll love it. And we are just going. Uh, no. So that's what I've been doing is and I'm going to do a huge circuit back in Birmingham on the 12th uh, of okay. September and going to be up at Salt and Light in North Carolina. Rally, and not just rallying the troops, Brad, giving them an actual verbs in the sentence. I'm going to tell you what we can do, what you can do in your state to push back. You know where you need to be, who you need to vote for, what's at stake, what are the policies on. We're fighting to get citizenship mm -hmm. as a proof because many people don't realize they've just handed out driver's licenses to tick, like Tic Tacs. I've gone into the uh, DMV here in Florida, West Palm, and there are people who have translators with them that came from another country that are getting driver's licenses. Okay, that's what they're doing. And we're in a red state. So we have to be That's diligent. Crazy. So what I tell people is there is definitely an uptick with RFK. There are a lot of them who are going, you know what, if RFK trusts him. So there's a lot of momentum, but they're not reporting that, Brad. So we have to be, right. just remember, they're not going to report the truth of the winds, but it is. The tide has shifted. It is going to be a landslide. We just have to account for the cheating. Like they said today, we're not going to yes. certify. What did Raskin say? We're not going to certify. They told you flat out. So what they just said is we're not going to respect the will of the people unless they vote for more communism. That is communism. Right. Uh, people can find uh, your schedule where you'll be over at RoarPack.com. The Roar Mission is the one we're going to be out there with the vets. And what we're doing is the okay. proceeds, the shirt I'm wearing right now is a Roar shirt. The proceeds are going to help mm -hmm. veterans. Their benefits have been plundered and given to by the VA, given to illegals. So we got veterans starving. So whatever we're doing with our country has to start with taking care of our vets first, making sure they have food, resources, and legal counsel. So that's what we're doing at the Roar Mission. And that's where people can find me. We'll be all over in cool. September and back cool. in Texas for Labor Day. Watch and listen at thedailymojo.com.